This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by Full Sail University. Welcome back to the episode of Rumor Roundup. This is the show where we take all the tech rumors from the week and smash them, bash them, and condense them into one show to serve you up all those tech rumors you need to know. Up this week, we're going to talk about Apple's iTV. We're going to talk about HTC allegedly planning a successor to their butterfly smartphone. And speaking of smartphone, Amazon might be packing one that's got a 4.7 inch display. This is Rumor Roundup. Go ahead and get started. Apple's television set, I'm just calling it ITV because I don't know what else to call it. Allegedly, it's going to pack a 4K screen. This one comes from Digitime, so take it with a gigantic head-sized grain of salt. Allegedly, Apple's ITV may offer Siri. It might change the way we watch TV, and it may revolutionize our living rooms. The biggest one, though, is that it might pack a 4K or Ultra HD display, according to a new report that surfaced on Wednesday. So there are obviously several televisions with that resolution that were unveiled during this year's Consumer Electronics Show, although they still cost a freaking this and a leg down below. Foxconn's allegedly been tapped to build the TVs, and LG is on board to supply the panels. Digital Times also said Apple's planning to launch their TV either late this year, early next year, sometime the year after that. Perhaps the year after that, or definitely the year after that. So who knows? The more we learn about this thing, the more we don't know about it. But it is fun to think about. Could a 4K TV maybe be coming affordable? Could Apple leverage economies of scale to get the prices down and make 4K available to the masses? I'm not so sure. There isn't really a standard yet for 4K and what's really considered true 4K. Uh, across all platforms, so I'm not sure if we're going to see it. So the HTC One is still going to launch in North America in April. However, HTC's got another phone in the works, a successor to the HTC Butterfly, or also known as the Droid DNA on Verizon Wireless. Apparently, HTC is going to keep the Butterfly brand name, although we hope it adds some sort of distinguishing feature so that consumers know it's been upgraded in some way. Maybe they'll give it wings. I've seen some silly phone names, but really, guys, Butterfly? HTC Chief Marketing Officer Ben Ho told Focus Taiwan in a recent interview, did not say what sort of hardware we can expect from the successor, but we're expecting Sense 5, hopefully the same 4 ultra pixel camera on the HTC One. Unfortunately though, the camera has been the cause for delays on the One, so really don't know. Ho also recently said that HTC is ditching the quietly brilliant marketing term for more aggressive slogan. More aggressive is great, go after Samsung, get some of that hot market share. What you're probably looking at though, with this Butterfly 2 and the Droid DNA 2, is Verizon's answer to the HTC One. Verizon's not going to be carrying the HTC One, so they'll be carrying an upgraded version of the DNA 2 or Butterfly 2 that should match it pretty close to spec to spec. So you Verizon folks, hopefully won't have to wait that much longer. Amazon's super highly rumored smartphone is going to ship with a 4.7 inch display according to a new report published by, you guessed it, Digitimes. Amazon's reportedly planning to ship the smartphone during the second quarter of this year. Although recent rumors suggest the scheduled device launch was delayed through production problems with a Foxconn subsidiary and Ski Tech. So right now I really don't know anything. What the smartphone is going to cost? Rumors suggesting though it's going to fall between $100 and $200 if and when Amazon does announce it. And we're not really sure if it's going to take Google's approach by selling the device itself or working with carrier partners instead. Apple's reportedly cut shipments of the first generation iPad mini in anticipation of a third quarter launch of the iPad mini 2 according to boom, Digitimes. I think this news is coming at a perfect time. I've used my iPad mini as my daily tablet. Starting to notice it's getting a little slow. If I got a lot of apps running perhaps in the background, I try and load up several tabs in Safari, it just starts to lag a little bit. So Digitime said the parts supplier revealed that Apple shipments are down 10 to 12 million units in Q2, which apparently represents a 20% cut from regular shipment levels. Shipments for the year were cut to 33 million units too. The impending launch of the really yet to be announced iPad mini 2 isn't the only reason shipments were sliced. However, sources also said that Apple made the cuts because of increased competition from various seven inch Android tablets. Look at you, Nexus 7. Let me step back from the rumors for a minute to thank our friends and sponsors at Full Sail University. We talked a lot about smartphones and the apps that run on them. And you know the mobile app industry is on fire right now. Full Sail University's online mobile development bachelor's degree program can teach you the skills that you need to take advantage of these emerging opportunities. In this degree, you'll learn both the programming and the business side of mobile development so that you, looking at you, can concept, develop, and deploy an application from start to finish. You can explore events, programming languages, visual frameworks, usability principles, and app development for iOS and Android operating systems. So between Apple's App Store and Google's Play Store, over 50 billion apps have been downloaded and growing every day with really no signs of slowing down. 
If you're ready to master technology and software to compete in this rapidly growing industry, if you just got an idea for a really cool app, check out fullsteel.edu slash technobuffalo to learn more about this online degree program. So thank you guys for watching this episode of Rumor Roundup. I hope you enjoyed. What do you want to see? What do you not want to see? Do you want to see Digitimes get their story straight? Let us hear from you. Leave your comments down below and I will check them out. I'm John Rettinger. I'll see you next video.